What's up, everybody? Let's uh, let's see if it's not going to freak out this time. Because <laughs> it kind of freaked out. Um, it froze and wigged out. And I had to turn it completely off and turn it back on. So hopefully it's going to go through. And it seems like it's freezing. Say it. All right. <laughs> let's see if it's uh, let's see if it's gonna try to do it. New game. We're just gonna start it over. Like I said, I just went through the first two chapters. Well, went into the second chapter. Uh, this might be kind of a long video. I will be reading. <laughs> so uh, let's just see how long it takes. A series of catastrophic events in civilization as we know it. A scientific council, K-H-E-P-R, Kepra, led by four brilliant minds, endeavor to build a cyclop... cyclop... what? Yeah, Cyclopean Dome City that would stand firm against the test of time. The city of Providence. In the new era of cybernetics and implants, society found peace within their own artificial cyber, cyber worlds and thus lost all touch with reality. The city continued to protect itself against the erosion of time, ensuring the continuity of mankind forevermore. Excerpt from the book Ahir Zaman. Now is the time for our final confrontation, Carter. Despite all you have witnessed, it is clear you have no intention, not even the will, to escape. In our previous interrogations, you vainly suggested that your physical reality was secondary to your dreams, merely another nightmare of your morbid imagination. We know that you use supernatural methods of good. So tell me, how have you managed to visit these strange realities? That's still your question. I thought you were omnipotent. My answer is the same now as it always has been. I'm not telling you! Face your reality, Carter. Here you remain, a prisoner on your own mortal coil. I have offered you so many chances. But you choose not to take them. Very well. It is true that I have my ways of knowing. I promise the journey will not be pleasant. This is really cool. I like this. Thought he's squid in the air. That water is that water's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Why? 
<clears throat> Looks like you died and went to hell, buddy. <laughs> Something. You aren't where you used to be, bro. <laughs> Let's look at that. This is crazy. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Once more, you enter this place of desolation and ruin. Long have I watched you, your every waking and every passing. I've sensed you from afar. Now, I will guide you through these tenebrious fields into the Tahome. Welcome back, Carter Chalini. Remember your voice. Who are you? You discern my speech well this time. That's good. Comprehension comes when you are focused. Now, proceed. RB is to kind of run, sort of. <laughs> this place. This city was built eons ago by a race much more advanced than yours. Only a handful of your kind could reach this point, but not further. Continue on. Maybe you'll know more this time. I really like the colors they use. It gives you kind of a Halloween kind of, you know, a lot of blues and purples and greens all everywhere. And then you got these guys. Behold the ongoing process of dissolution. When the time comes, these creatures devour everything, dead or alive, until there is nothing more. Proceed and find me on the frontier of the dissolving illusory. Dude, has anybody seen that movie uh, Arrival? It totally reminds me of those fears that um, they'll activate and set in a room and like sucks everything into the, into inside of it and everything. <laughs> totally looks like it. All right.
Who are you? I am the last high priest of the long extinct Darial race. Faded away beyond the cold erase from the annals of time and space. You are reanimated my body as you have many times before. We've met over and over again in different times of exactly the same place. Where am I? You are in Corvo, Cherish. Beyond the bow, my kind entered this region of transition, broke the bonds of a material existence and built this place. Call Cherish is perilously close to the heart of Zerong. This is no place for your kind to traverse. I suggest you go back. What just happened? My remains have been kept here for calling me from beyond to this semi-physical plane of existence. You have reanimated my body, as you have many times before. I know you, Wayfarer. We've met over and over again, in different times, but exactly the same place. What is Tehom exactly? Far past the corrupting intrusions of matter and lesser forms of truth, Tehom is the space beyond life and death. Beings of lower planes can only, with their ignorant and reflexes, feel its existence. Only the more susceptible among them can understand what they see and thus yearn for it until their existence is exhausted. Their home is the final step before the incomprehensible metamorphosis takes its course. But this is something I am also yet to see. What did you call this? A semi-physical plane of existence. Yes, this is the next stage of evolution. A region of transition from corporeal to incorporeal. The last frontier of all material cosmos. I can remain here no more, for the consistency of this vessel is losing its integrity. Need my words and return to your own waking reality, Wanderer. You cannot comprehend the implications this place has for your kind. All right, that's pretty creepy. So I was talking to a dead guy. All right. All right, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Wait for me. Where are you going? Wait, run in. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. What in the world? I'm a Omnia Maternter <laughs> Nihil Interdrit. Standing against the course of nature is a senseless thing to do for. As the water will carve its way through the terrain, nature's touch has been 
constantly changing the ultimate destination. We're dying within the gigantic ancient walls of this hubris laden techno city. Society is dying from apathy and depression, so we use these strange cyber enclaves to escape from this horrendous reality. But the sober ones with watchful eyes could detect something evil, inhumane, crawling in the dark alleys in abandoned buildings, artificially created monstrosities, disguising dis disgusting insectoid mutations that were once human. Have no fear, brethren. These defects shall not remain since nature always corrects its ways. Okay, that's weird. Oh, yeah. This thing. Okay. You gotta be joking. Okay, cool. Man, last time it took forever to do that. <laughs> And it's like, it's such an easy puzzle too. It's just, it's frustrating as hell. Cause it's, it's not really a, it's kind of a puzzle, but it's, you don't really know what's going on with the, oh shit, I forgot about that. Uh, press A, pull back on the left stick and it opens the door or you'll um, pull levers and stuff like that. Oh God. Oh shit. Okay, so these aliens have wings. I don't understand that. It's like. You see that? This is crazy. Oh, they had dragonfly wings. Okay, I got you. Insectoid mutations. I got you. What? Why? Oh, so oh, yeah. why? Press A. A again to look at him. An external sound recorder. I'd better check it out. As I predicted, the scarab device is the key to the lower sections. Only a handful of their members have one. Some say there's a myth whispered among the elites to all to recall. I believe this story is related to opening the device. It goes like this. How with the primal waters? First, a pyramid emerged in the east. Then, the scarab headed one, the one of the morning sun. He, the primeval snake, learned to set weights in the darkest depths to hunt it down as it descends into the underworld from the west. Okay. Something in his pockets. Thing looks like an electronic device of some sort. No, it hides. Looks like a mouse. It's like a really tricked out mouse or something. It's kind of backwards. <laughs> or maybe I had it backwards. Oh no, I hate this thing. I That's it. Okay.
All right, those things. Okay, I got you. Is there anything else I'm supposed to get? I think that was it. Just trying to make sure I don't forget something. Here we go. Oh yeah, more tentacle wires. That's kind of disturbing. Huh. I was Let's put this baby face on this alien. Oh shit. shamans right that is shamans right shaman <sighs> the nightmares again I thought I was over them Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here because if I'm not mistaken, there's... Oh, whoa. Oh. No, Savannah's check. I need to power the terminals manually again. I'm the neck. Okay, this is where, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here real quick. And uh, we'll be back on. Peace.